Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are coming into FIFA 22 on a Wednesday today. Brand new team of the week. We'll talk about that and potentially a brand new icon player pick SBC coming today or in the next day or two. The mid or prime player pick SBC might be dropping as soon as today. We have the mid player pick that is out. It's been out like twice now. We had this SBC, I believe, or maybe even three times. I think that today could be the day where we see this one go away and the mid or prime come into the game. First time that we would see that for a mid or prime player pick. Now, we'll talk about how that could affect the market with the SBC fodder. Of course, yesterday we had the UEFA marquee matchups. We had the um, Mob Didi SBC, which not very many people were a fan of. But the more that we look at the game yesterday, the action was actually on the market. There was a lot of market movements with some foot birthday cards moving with that supply that we talked about and road to the finals. And today is a huge day for more road to the final guys in action, specifically Gareth Bale and Kempembe as PSG and Real Madrid face off in the second leg of Champions League. So we have some live items to watch there. We also have a brand new team of the week potentially coming out today. There's some market movements because of that. And um, we are getting closer and closer to Foot Birthday Team 2. So we'll take a look at some of the first leaks for Foot Birthday Team 2. We have an objective and an SBC that are leaked. And again, just talk about how that Team 2 could affect this Team 1 in price a little bit as there's a lot of anticipation for that team too. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. But let's get into it. Today's content on Wednesday might feature this SBC right here, the mid or prime icon player pick. It is leaked to come in the following days. That is what Sheriff says. And I'm with Weaver right here, right? Weaver responds and says, tomorrow question mark because the mid icon player pick is expiring, right? It only has a few hours left as we head into the day today on Wednesday. It would make sense, right? That's how they've been doing the icon upgrade packs the past few weeks. One goes away, a new one is put back on the market. It would be it would be really easy filler content for EA to do. This foot birthday promo, we'd be getting player SBCs every single day, but the content SBC wise has just been lackluster. It hasn't had that much hype, right? If you take it and you think about what's been going on on the menus this week, objective grind is decent. The players in packs are what people are the most excited about, and that's getting a lot of people to do upgrade packs right now. Um, but yeah, we have the, the prime icon pack that is out, but people still do these, these player picks, right? Since there's not a lot to do, people still grind these. They do the 80 plus upgrade player picks. They dump coins into those. Then they craft these icon player picks, even though it has a 93% down vote and this SBC has 600,000 coins. Uh, it was even more expensive at some points when it first came out. Yes, yeah, 781 is how much the mid icon player pick was when it first came out. Now, if they're going to release a mid or prime today on Wednesday, which by the way, this could be actually tomorrow on Thursday as well. I think the last time they released the mid icon player pick, they like took a day off, then released it again. So I think there's potential that it could be either today or tomorrow. Hopefully it's the mid or prime and it's the same price as the mid icon player pick. But still with this being 600,000 coins, I would not be surprised if of course prime icons will be packable from this player pick. They might increase the price of the SBC a little bit. Now we see SBC fodder at the moment is slightly up in price. Your 86s are 17, 17 and a half thousand coins. Your 88s are 31, 32K. Your 84s are up a little bit. Your 85s are up a little bit. You know, being completely honest with you guys, if this SBC comes today and it's anywhere over like 750,000 coins, which it very well could be because it's a player pick, right? And this year, the icon player pick packs, they've been overpriced, right? Again, 93% downvote when this mid icon player pick was released last week, right? Because it was so expensive. And right now we also have a prime icon pack upgrade that is out. That's only 360 K. So that's so much better value. And you are guaranteed a prime icon, but people love the icon player picks and they can't get enough of them. So regardless, this SBC is going to have some hype when it is released. The question is, is it going to cost too much uh, that people will maybe not be as influenced to go and do that SBC? I think it's very possible that it will be, but I think that it could make SBC fodder make a, a slight rise, maybe a spike today on Wednesday. Depending on the content that we have, 
Uh, otherwise, then this mid I or prime icon player pick, you might see a short rise on SBC fodder, but probably nothing crazy just because this SBC would be so expensive unless they come out and make it dirt cheap and surprise us. I don't expect fodder to go up like a ton, right? I don't expect 88s to go to like 40K today. Maybe they go to like 34, 35,000 coins, uh, but I wouldn't expect anything super crazy. And it probably would be some of that higher tier fodder that would move, um, especially because I believe the mid icon player pick that is out right now has like an 87 or an 88 rated squad. I think a couple 87 squads as a part of it. Yeah, two 87 squads as a part of the SBC. So I would imagine that a mid or prime would have some 87 or 88 requirements in it too. And that would make that higher rated fodder push up a little bit more on the market. So that's probably the biggest piece of content that I think is most likely today. We could have another player SBC as well, whoever that's going to be. It, you know, right, we, we haven't had that many great player SBCs. We've had Mkhitaryan, we have had Timber, Fredericks, no thanks, Mavdidi yesterday, albeit he did get a really big dribbling upgrade. On his inform, he has like 69 balance and 71 agility, and he got a massive, massive boost there. But three-star skill moves, the five-star weak foot, this card, for it just isn't for a lot of people, right? The stats are not good enough. It's a decent item if you're trying to link uh, some cards together. It is a green link to Kaza, and it's a very interesting item with an English link in the league gun. So it's nice for squad building. Uh, but unless this, this card is going to do something for your squad or you just want to collect the item um to collect the card it's really not bringing a lot of hype and that's how the foot birthday player sbcs have been during this promo except for literally timber and mkhitaryan so we're really hoping that ea can you know maybe click it up a notch a little bit with some of that content now yesterday we also did not have a token sbc um if you guys did not find where the foot birthday swaps token was yesterday we didn't have one of these uh, I think we have foot 15 out right now. We did not see foot 16. The token was actually available from UEFA Marquee Matchup. So make sure you go and do that SBC if you're looking for the token from yesterday. It is available there. I think we have eight tokens or nine tokens that have been made available to us now. I think it's eight actually. Um, and we'll be able to turn those in if you've been collecting those. Uh, Friday will be the day when we can actually start turning those in. So keep your grind up if you're doing objectives or these SBCs to get those cards. Friday is our day where we can first begin to turn those in for that swaps program. But I would expect to see the Foot 16 SBC. I think we will see that one today. They'll probably release that. And that'll be another swap token for the Foot Birthday Swaps as a part of today's content and maybe they would continue with another player sbc i'm not entirely sure sure who it's going to be now also for wednesday's content today we're going to get a team of the week right and uh there's a player there's a couple players in this team of the week actually that are that are pretty decent but especially one card is already experiencing some market movements because of the leaks of him getting a brand new team of the week item and that is teo Hernandez. It is leaked that Teo Hernandez is going to be getting an 88 rated inform today. And I'll show you some of the cards that are leaked to be in the team of the week. Um, De Bruyne is a headliner name. Lautaro Martinez. Reese James is in the team of the week as well. This is a Reese James is actually a very interesting card to potentially get in team of the week this week because this is going to upgrade his headliner plus one. And Chelsea are also one game away from getting that headliner streak upgrade on the card as well so this reese james headliner card that is in the game right now he has been on the popular page because people have been buying him up and he's up a lot in price so he's getting a team of the week he's going to go to an 88 today but he also might be going to an 89 by the end of this by next week a week from now when he should get upgraded um because He'll, he'll get that four win win streak, right? Right now, he's not a streak card. He's a headliner's item. So he'll go up because of the inform, but then he also could go up again because of that four win streak if Chelsea win against Norwich on the weekend. So that's kind of a crazy, you know, happening with this card. He's up a ton. I'm, I'm really not going to sit here and tell you that you should go and invest in this card because he's 190K. Uh, he was 160 yesterday and he was 120 earlier in the week, right? 126,000 coins before the game happened this weekend. And uh, yeah, so that's why his card is up a lot. But Taylor Hernandez is getting into Team of the Week. KDB, decent card. Saka's got a, a decent looking item. Gelson Martins is in Team of the Week. 
Um, you know, of course, uh, everybody loved Gelson Martin's the signature signings card that was released earlier on this year during Black Friday. Um, but, uh, you know, that's an 82 rated in form that would have been good in November. But we're getting a special Gelson Martin's on the market. So there's that. Uh, as a part of the team of the week today, it's I, honestly, boys, unless EA do something crazy, it's probably going to be a bit of an L day on content in terms of what content they could be releasing. But at least we're still going to have a plenty amount more of market movements, especially with the road to the final cards. And that's what I want to take a look at right now. Of course, from yesterday's game, Bayern winning seven to one that locks in some more upgrades for this next week. First upgrade that is locked in is Toliso. Toliso is going to be going to a 90 rated card because this is the first knockout game that Bayern have played in since Road to the Final started. So he's getting a plus one for that. And Bayern have now moved on into the next round of the competition. So he's going to get a plus one for that. So this Toliso is going to be getting a plus two on Friday. I think what they're going to do is they're going to upgrade these cards on Friday. That's what they did last time when they upgraded road to the finals. So like Friday night, late night, like early morning, like I'm talking 12 a.m., 1 a.m. Saturday, UK time is when I think these cards will get upgraded just like it was, uh, I think, two weeks ago when they did those upgrades. So keep an eye out for Toliso. Keep an eye out for Mane and Alexis Sanchez as well. Now, I actually have spent some coins on this Mane card. I picked up four Mane's tonight because his price went down like crazy. Even though Liverpool won, uh, sorry, not, not won, even though Liverpool advanced and they're still live, this card is still live and upgradable, he is going to get a plus one from the game yesterday because they moved on to the next round. He's not getting a plus two, and that caused this card to drop off a ton in price. Now, Taliso, we didn't talk about his price uh, here for a second. Taliso, his price is actually at the same point, right? Yesterday, people were buying this card up before the game. He was like 200,000 coins, kind of peaked at 230. He went down to 220 post game, and now he's still chilling around that 230,000 coin mark. If the content is slow until Friday, it's probably just going to be staying around this 230 mark, might even rise up a little bit more with that plus two upgrade is what everybody is so excited about. There was a lot of people who invested, but his price is holding steady. So that makes me think unless the content is going to be insane, his price might travel upwards a little bit more, maybe 240, maybe 250 by the time we hit uh, the time frame of this weekend when the upgrades could come out. So just be careful with that Taliso card if you're still holding him or waiting for that upgrade. Now this Mane card is on a whole nother level uh, because he was 1.8 mil yesterday, 1.85 and one point, basically 1.8 mil as well on the Xbox. But instead of getting a plus two upgrade because Liverpool did not win the game, they only advanced. He's getting a plus one and that caused some huge panic selling from 1.8 million coins. He went all the way down to 1.46 and I was able to buy uh, I was able to buy four of these Sadio Mane's in like a 20 minute time span. I was kind of checking the market on and off and I bought four of these. I bought one of them at on Snipe, two of them on Snipe actually, 1.41, 1.47, 1.4 flat and 1.450. Oh, and I'm just kind of waiting on this card to bounce back. I've been watching his price, seeing where he goes. He's kind of bounced back a little bit. He's right now at 1.58 hoping that this card could potentially go back a little bit above 1.6, just because he's still, again, a very, very rare item. And he's still also a card that is live and upgrading. He's going to go to a 93 on Friday and probably potential for upgrades later on down the road after that. So that uh, is what I see in that Monte card yesterday. Now, Alexis Sanchez was our a surprise upgrade. And this is actually a little surprising to me that he's not up much more than what he is right now because he was like 30 i think he was 33k yesterday before the game he is now going to get an upgrade right now he's 39,000 coins he's up just a little bit this card is an 89 rated item uh, i wish they would have given him the four star weak foot because that would have made his card a lot more usable but i mean 89 rated he's probably going to have 90 shooting 80 87 88 passing 91 pace it's, it's not going to be bad right at least this card is getting upgraded when we think that it was not going to so Instead of a plus two on Mane, we are getting a plus one on Mane and Sanchez. But today, right, those are the games from yesterday. Today is where the real hype is. So just like yesterday, we have a couple cards on the line from the same game. Gareth Bale, 
Real Madrid, representing Real Madrid at home today against PSG. This is the game that everybody is so excited for, and there's going to be a lot of market movements. If Real Madrid can somehow score first and come out and win this game, um, of course, it's 1-0 aggregate to PSG. So it, there's no more away goals, no more, no more of that stuff. It's all about who wins this game. Uh, to go on to the next round. Basically, if PSG win the game, Kempembe is going to get a plus two. But if Real Madrid win the game, um, then Gareth Bale is going to get a plus two as well. It's, it's all about who wins the game. There's really not a scenario here where um, if it's a tie at the end of 90 minutes, I think EA would still upgrade whoever comes out in the end. If it does go to penalties, let's say uh, Real Madrid go up uh, one one zero, right? Let's, let's say it's one zero. I technically, I guess you could say a one to one final score would be a scenario where there would be no winner for the game, and PSG would go through on two one aggregate. So that's the only scenario actually uh, where is a tie in the game where PSG would go through and we would only get a plus one upgrade. So we're just not rooting for that basically, right? Either PSG win 1-0 or um, Madrid win 1-0 or something like that, then go to Penns or whatever, because an, a plus two upgrade on Bale would be sick and a plus two upgrade on Kempembe would be really, really sick as well. Now Kempembe's price has actually dropped down a little bit from where he was um, because Mbappe was rumored to not be fit for the game, but I believe Mbappe is going to be playing in the game. Um, and Kempembe was like 1.44, now he's down to like 1.4 flat. Still, if you imagine a plus two upgrade on this card 92 physical, maybe 90 defense, 87 passing, or sorry, 87 pace that would be a cracked Kempembe. But then again, if you think about a Gareth Bale, the plus two that's why this game is so hyped today. Two really hyped cards in FIFA on the line, upgrades pending, with of course Champions League success on the line as well. So that's like the biggest game as a part of today. Of course, Riyad Mahrez has potential for the City game to get upgraded today. I have one of these Riyad Mahrez on my transfer list at uh, 1.07. Probably going to sell this later on today as he just like um just like Mane, he's expected to get the win and the upgrade. So, I might just sell that card into the hype because I think this item is still overpriced anyway, and I thought the Mane was overpriced as well yesterday um, and even throughout the whole road to the final promo i thought this car was a bit overpriced so if you sold the money at 1.8 yesterday you're chilling i'm going to take that same kind of thought process with the mares that i have today and sell that early one other thing is denayer is in don't forget about the europa league game today uh for some leagues like porto and um against denayer porto is playing so just keep an eye out for this card as well because he has potential upgrades on the line as Lyon are playing against Porto today in Europa League. So don't forget about him. Uh, the potential plus two uh, is on the line. Actually, no, it's just a plus one because this would be their first knockout stage win. So a, a plus one upgrade, which would actually be a plus two since he's 84 rated, right? 84s always go to 86s for informs. So this card could go to an 86 by the end of the week if they do end up winning. So that's a lot about road to the finals, but those are kind of a really hype piece of information today. And I know a lot of you guys might have a Bale or a Kepembe or a Denayer or a Mars, and you're wanting to see what happens with these cards today based off of the game. So that's kind of what's going on there. Now, as we talked about with the market a little bit yesterday, the foot birthday cards, they're just kind of chilling, right? That's the best way to describe how these cards are doing on the market right now. Some of them dropped off a little bit. Uh, you have guys like Nuno Menge, uh, which Nuno Menge could be affected a little bit today by a Teo Hernandez inform. So just be a little bit careful if you have this card. He was like 430,000 coins. He's down just a little bit. Um, some of these cards were impacted slightly by the pack supply yesterday, which is kind of what we expected. Uh, Odegaard went from like 620K. He is now down, I believe, at like 599 or something like that, 595. So it all depends on if we get some pack supply today tradable. Some of these cards could drop a little bit more. And especially with the rivals rewards period tomorrow, they could dip a little bit more. But what's really going to impact these cards the most as we head towards the end of their stay in packs again, and we've mentioned this multiple times already. Um, we're just waiting on those, the hype, the links, uh, the leaks, not the links, but the leaks for team two of foot birthday. That's going to be huge for these cards as well. If there's a ton of hype, for the upcoming foot birthday team two team and if it looks like the players are going to be more hype uh than the team one cards then i would imagine that you're going to see these team one cards drop off in price as we head towards the weekend so it's just going to depend on the content of course 
and what cards are going to be leaked to be in Team Tua for birthday. So if there's any of these that you want to buy for your team, I still think I would hold off a little bit. And we might dive uh, in a little deeper tomorrow and take a look at some of those prices. Ronaldo is actually down in price. He was actually just under 4.7. He was 4.675, as you can see here. So his price was down some, uh, but he's now slightly bounced back. You know, those cards, again, there just hasn't been a ton of movement on them because the game really hasn't been that insanely hyped. The SBC content has not been that good. Right now, either you're doing player picks, you're grinding the objectives, maybe you're working through some league SBCs, just trying to open some packs. It seems like it's just kind of a, it's been honestly the worst content of a full birthday promo that we can remember. And, it, and it's it's a bummer so far. Um, now, speaking of Team 2 of Full Birthday, we do have a couple things to watch out for leak-wise. Uh, we do have our, our first couple of cards leaked for Foot Birthday for Team 2. The first one right here is DeVry. I don't know if this is going to be an SBC that would come today during Team 1. This could be our player SBC that's coming soon. So that card looks just not pacey enough. I mean, 82 pace is not bad. It's just not enough for this stage of the game. 91 defense, 84 physical, five-star skill moves. Okay, cool. Uh, I can McGee spin with my 82 pace center back that has probably like 60 agility. Nice. Uh, so that's pretty hype, I guess. Uh, but Serie A teams, those are some nice links. Hopefully they just boost up the pace a little bit. 85 to 87 pace, then we'd be very happy. Now, this is our first leak for objective of team number two, Lamella, um, right mid Argentine Sevilla. So that's a nice link to a couple of our Sevilla cards we've had recently, like Papu Gomez, Road to the Final. I think this would be a card that would be impacted uh, by that leak of the uh, Lamella card. Now, yesterday, this Lamella did, or this Gomez went up a little bit. He kind of peaked here at 32K. That was after the leaks. So as we get towards the weekend, just keep an eye on a card like this because he might continue to rise with this Lamella. But this card, even, even if this is like five star, five star, it looks okay, right? It looks okay. It's kind of on the level of Tammy Abraham, although Abraham looks even better than this Lamella, I would say. So that's kind of our first like foot birthday team two leak. So I would watch out for more of that today. Some of you guys might be asking, will we get a loading screen today? Last Wednesday we did, but that was because it was the start of a brand new promo. I'd be surprised if we had a loading screen today about uh, foot birthday. Maybe they really want to start teasing the hype for foot birthday too. I would say if they were going to have one, maybe tomorrow on Thursday would be the day that we potentially have some of that. So we're going to hold on for hopefully another day of somewhat decent content inside of FIFA 22. Hopefully they re-release, uh, or sorry, not re-release, but release the mid or prime icon player pick. That would create some movements um, on the market for fodder and probably for the rest of the market as well. We still haven't had any like gamble packs, man. No 85 times three, no 84 plus player pick, no party bags, None of that stuff. A little confusing. Again, like like I said, that's part of the foot birthday promo that we usually see that we have not seen just yet. Also, one thing that I'm just going to say right at the end of this video, I haven't thought about it, but they've done it during these promos when they've been running all the insane lightning rounds, is watch out for potential lightning rounds today on Wednesday. They've been doing lightning rounds a lot on the weekend and on the, the promos like Winter Wild Cards and Future Stars when they've done a ton of lightning rounds on the weekend. There have been points in the week where they've run lightning rounds on, I think it was Wednesdays and Thursdays during those big time promos. So just kind of keep an eye out whether it's prime icon moments that you're trying to trade with. These guys fluctuate a ton right now. They're so good to trade with uh, or it's full birthday cards. Those supply on the market. Just be ready, I guess I would say, for potential a slight little bit of a lightning round um, goodness from EA Sports if they really wanted to put out some supply. That is something they have done in these promos before on a Wednesday or a Thursday. So that's kind of what's going on in the game right now. Hopefully today we get that mid or prime icon player pick. That'd be something at least for some people to try to go after and to get. But it might just be another opportunity to collect whatever token they drop today for foot birthday swaps and then get ready for foot for, 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 for birthday team number two, if I could speak, uh, this next Friday. So that's kind of what we're looking forward to. Hopefully they surprise us, man. EA, just do something good. Surprise us for once. Maybe that is a DeVry SBC with more pace than what we expected. But if that is the case, I'll be all for it. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.